Hi and welcome to this week's episode of the Amber Tree Wellness TV. How are you going? I thought today what I'd do is i share a bit of a story with you. Recently um, the Royal Easter Show was on here in Sydney and I took the family along and while the kids and my husband decided to go and do all the rides I thought I'd take a bit of a wander through the food hall and I sat down and I was listening to a dairy farmer speak and it was quite interesting some of the things he had to say and I just thought I'd share some of these things with you because some of the things he was saying I kind of knew but didn't realize the full reaching effect of what was going on. Now this dairy farmer, um, he runs three different farms. He has one organic farm and he has two non-organic farms. These farms have been in his family for generations upon generations. So as he grew up within the farming industry, he did what his father did, you know, and he practiced farming the way that his, fa his father did. But over the last few years, he's actually started to change that. Because what he found was the effect of the use of pesticides. As we've started to use more and more pesticides within our farming, he, he actually noticed that it was actually affecting the cows and their ability to pr produce milk. Now, for me, I found this quite interesting because I know that when I have people, you know, women in clinic who are trying to fall pregnant, one of the things we you know, always recommend is that they avoid um, conventional foods and eat organic and uh, possible because of the potential that it can actually have on their, their fer fer fertile health and their um, growing embryos and, and babies. And it was quite interesting to hear him say that he had found over the years that the use of pesticides actually affected the fertility of the cows. And for a dairy farmer that's a big, big issue because obviously they need to have their cows fertile. And the other thing they found was it actually made the cows mineral deficient when they were eating the grasses and all of the stuff that was full of the pesticides which meant they had to then put minerals into their feed so that they could actually get more and more uh, get enough minerals in the in the animal so that then there was enough minerals within the milk so i found this really really interesting because what is really happening here you know we're we're told and there's a lot of um information out there that there is no difference between conventionally grown food and organically grown fruit food and when it comes to the, the vitamin content, you're probably right, there is very little difference. You know, the vitamin content of a conventional and an organic food is the same. But it's interesting to see that some of the farmers are noticing that mineral deficiencies have become a big issue when it comes to the use of these fertilizers. Because these fertilizers, a lot of them are actually elemental, uh, so they're inter elementally based. And with heavy metals and minerals, some minerals actually compete against each other and so when you've got these chemicals they can actually block the uptake of minerals within our bodies and minerals are essential for you know bone growth calcium for muscle movement magnesium potassium for the balance of you know fluids within our body for our heart to pump so we actually need these essential nutrients we don't just need vitamins we need minerals so if our foods are not don't have the minerals in them then we're not getting the minerals and the other thing that I found very you know interesting was that the farmers are noticing that the fertility of the cows are being affected now if the fertility of the cows are being affected and then they're actually producing milk doesn't that go to you know does isn't the next logical step or thought well what is that doing to us as humans who are actually drinking this milk now this is one of the reasons why Generally, I recommend that people don't drink lots and lots of milk because of the effect that it has on our body. And, you know, if, you're, if you can source a really good quality organic milk, and generally Jersey milk is a better quality, it, well, it's, not, it's easy to digest, not necessarily a better quality. It's, an easy, it's easier to digest than the Frisian milk, so that's A2 versus the, the um, conventional milk. It's easier to digest. But when it doesn't have all those pesticides, you're actually reducing the risk that's actually harming your health and any potential baby that you not, might be having. So I just thought I'd share that little bit of information because I thought it was quite interesting to hear that coming from a farmer, this particular farmer at the moment. So I said he has one organic farm, he has two that are not yet classified organic but he's converting all his um, 
all these farms to organic and when there is any spraying going on within the area on the non-organic farms he actually doesn't milk I think he said for up to two weeks because he didn't want any of that within the milk so even though he's not classified organic as yet he's still actually taking the steps to actually reduce the chemical exposure to his animals and to the milk that's being produced so I hope you found that as interesting as I did um, sometimes things can you know amuse me but not necessarily interest other people but feel free to share this, this video with other people. Tweet it, Facebook it, Pinterest it, do whatever you like with it. But share it around. Let other people know about the Ambitory Wellness TV. Make comments down below. What do you think? Do you really think that milk makes a big difference? You know, whether or not it's coming from organic sources or um, non-organic sources. Do you think it makes a difference to your health? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening to me and I will see you next week. Bye.